Okay, so this, this is my current light setup. So I have two turn signals. I replaced my stocks, stock turn signals with these LED strips. So this black wire here goes to one light. This black wire here goes to another light. And each wire has the power, the ground, and the turn. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to take off all these posi taps that you see, there's a total of six, and instead use the stock connectors to clean this up. So first things first, I had to connect my turn signals to the new terminals and connectors. And of course, I had to figure out how to do this. So I watched a few YouTube videos and read a few forums to figure out how do you do this wiring. And once I figured that out, I figured it would help me to actually know what was the power, what was the ground, what was the turn. So I drew it out for myself so that I wouldn't get anything mixed up. And from there, once that was done, it was pretty much plug and play. So now that the connectors have been attached, I'm just plugging it into the bike, hence plug and play. And I'm checking to make sure that the lights are working, that they're doing what they're supposed to do, that I have them plugged in on the right side. So left is left and right is right. And that the hazards are working. So everything is looking good. And now we can get into actually cleaning this thing up. So one thing about working on your motorcycle and learning as you go, which is my case, is that when you do something for the first time, you realize that you could probably have done it better. So like I said, I'm just taking this opportunity to clean up the connectors that were already in place and just making a more solid install. So all six connectors have now been removed and the two left over that you see are the ones that power the lights behind my louvers. So they had to stay there. When I removed the connectors, I then wrapped the exposed wires in electrical tape. And now it's time to remove and replace the old lights. The lights that I'm using can also be wrapped around the forks. So they do come with this zip tie on the end, but since I'll be applying them where I'm applying them, I went ahead and cut those off. When I first did this light install, I actually cut a strip of Gorilla Glue double-sided tape and put on top of the 3M adhesive that comes on the lights. Uh, just to make sure that that adhesion was really, really good. But this time I didn't do that. I actually just used the 3M adhesive by itself. And since recording what you're looking at right now, it's been a year and it hasn't lifted at all, even after riding in the rain. And after that, I just pull the wire through and get it ready to plug in. And now you're looking at the final product of my light wiring cleanup project. Thank you. 